I, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. I, y'all see what we got going on here. As y'all see the thumbnail, y'all read the title under the thumbnail. Yeah, today's video is dealing with your boy, Boosie. Yeah, man, Boosie agrees to testify on behalf of Young Thug. And not only that, how a couple of sell affiliates run up on Gunner to see the reason why he confessed all on Young Thug. Yeah, so Boosie and a couple other high-profile names agrees to testify on behalf of Young Thug. So yeah, man, let's get right to it. See, at this point, it's not looking good for your boy Young Thug. Starting with Gunner, man, whom we all know is Young Thug artist slash YSL affiliate, whom exposed from his perspective what YSL really represents. And he also stated, understand that the gang slash criminal activity that YSL affiliates was getting into was all funded by Young Thug. Plus, we also have to take into account all the affiliates of YSL testifying against Thugger as being the HNIC. You have some affiliates of YSL who took the stand, state themselves that Young Thug wanted them to testify against him as being the HNIC of YSL. And they was also familiar with the criminal activity that Thugger paid dudes to engage in. So like I told y'all before, man, that should be a clear example on the people that you affiliated with. Again, you don't know. Hey, you never know what they'll do. One minute they'll say, I'm with you, folks. I'm riding with you to the end. Then next minute, they're taking the stand, testifying against you. So all you young cats out there who fans of Young Thug, y'all pay attention, man. Because y'all seen it, man. One minute, Young Thug and Gunner, they was at their height. And the next minute, they're getting brought in for questioning, pretending to some criminal activity based around a YSL affiliate camp. Then you got your boy Boosie, man. Y'all know Boosie. He was one of the first rappers to speak on Young Thug case publicly, pertaining to him being disgusted by Young Thug YSL affiliates, exposing Thugger as being the HNIC of YSL. And not only that, and how they stated that Young Thug formulated YSL as a G-A-N-G. Boosie said that Thugger should have known that Gunner was going to confess everything once he started crying during the court session. Boosie said any dude willing to cry in court has no problem telling on you and your whole family. And that's real talk, man. But right there, that should have let y'all know that, hey, man, Gunner, he just wanted to come in to rap. He didn't want to come in to get involved in none of that criminal activity, man. So at the same time, even though he was familiar with what Young Thug was getting into, he didn't want to be a part of it. You understand? But because of his association, he's automatically going to go down right with Young Thug. And that's what we seeing happen, man. In real time, I told y'all, man, the trial continues January 9th. So look forward to that. All right, let's continue with the story. Y'all seeing? This is exactly what's happening right now. When Gunna told, it created a domino effect of other known affiliates to expose Young Thug and YSL. So they could either walk or get less time. Even Young Thug father, Jeffrey Williams Sr., speaks on his son should not take a plea deal or whatever deal they offer him. Jeffrey Sr. say he gonna ride with his son to the end and he's not giving up on him like everybody else did. Yeah, again, we tip our hats off to Young Thug Pops, but at the same time, he should have put his son up on game. He should have put Young Thug on game, pretending to the streets. They don't love you, man. Yeah, so Young Thug Father says now he realizes the reason why his son is in this predicament. He says Thugger had a bunch of soft dudes associated with his camp willing to testify against him at the drop of a dime. Young Thug Father also expressed everybody telling on his son thought it was cool to run the streets and engage in criminal activity like they were some real gangsters until them people come knocking now they telling everything and it's reported that over 300 witnesses is willing to testify against young thug and ysl you also have a few known name and faces like killer mike young thug wife boosie and young thug father plus kevin Lyles willing to be character witnesses and testify on young thug behalf as far as his commitment on community development investing in youth programs and assisting shelter living for single people and families. So like I stated before, y'all, Young Thug next court day is on January the 9th, a few days away. Now, if y'all not familiar with the story, this all started from longtime homeowners and residents of ATL begin to worry about the safety in their communities and with the rise in crime and people being taken out behind different levels of criminal activity. See, y'all got to understand, them people been looking at YSL camp for almost 10 years. In that 10-year span, they did some investigating. 
and followed a trail that led right to Young Thug because his affiliates were committing criminal activity under the umbrella of YSL. Once they got a dozen or more arrests and noticed that each person was affiliated to YSL, they can now move forward with acknowledging the fact that YSL is operating as a criminal organization. So the DA and state prosecutors hit Young Thug and YSL with the RICO Act. And again, I broke down to y'all what the RICO Act means, all right? This is something that them people use to bring down the mob and the mafias. So dealing with that, if they was able to bring down those guys, and those guys are a little more tight-knit and have a little more awareness than Young Thug affiliates, come on, man, what y'all think was going to come from this? Yeah, folks, this right here should be a valuable lesson to learn. And that's the streets ain't for everybody. Even the folks that's in the streets don't want to be there. You understand? That's the reason why they making all type of moves to get away from there. The thing is, like I stated before, man, Gunna and even Young Thug, they didn't get into the rap industry so they can continue to be involved in the streets, man. That doesn't make sense. That is totally backwards and against your whole why on the reason why you enter into the rap industry. You know what I'm saying? You went legit for a reason. To take care of yourself and your family. Now look it. Yeah, a lot of people feel that Gunner was wrong for telling on Young Thug. I'm one of those people. But at the same time, if he wasn't involved in the streets from the beginning, then you can't force a man to be something that he wasn't. You understand? Meaning that it wasn't in him to stand by Young Thug the whole time. That's the reason why he had no problem Let it be known that, yeah, YSL is in fact a G-A-N-G and Young Thug, he was funding all the criminal activity that was coming from that camp. So what I'm saying is, man, if y'all really want to enter into the rap industry to change your life and your family life, you can't continue to keep doing the same thing that you were doing in the streets. I know you guys have heard plenty of examples and stories from other entertainers that bumped their heads a few times. And what do they always say? Yeah, man. Everybody who was with me from the beginning when I was up, they ain't with me today. Once I bumped my head and fell once, don't let me fall twice. There really ain't going to be no one in your corner then. And that is something that Boosie and even Young Thug Father has spoke on. That y'all can expect for people to be in your corner. No matter if you up or down. You understand? You just have to pay attention to and be aware of those that are present at the time when you're down. Then you will see it. Now, you can't take that for granted. Do not take the people that's in your corner for granted. You understand? And that's the issue with a lot of people. So I'm not here to sit up and speak on what Young Thug did right or wrong. You understand? Or gonna. What I'm speaking on is the young people that's entering into the rap game now. And I'm trying to let them know that, hey, the people you came in with, the ones that been down for you, hey, y'all keep supporting one another. But only with positive actions. Because y'all seeing, if you try to get into that criminal activity, them people is watching you. First of all, y'all really have to understand. First of all, the youngsters have to really understand. They're really watching the rap industry more than any other entertainment genre of music out there, man. Rap is being watched more from those people. And that's because guys don't have a problem. Yeah, telling where they come from, but also telling all the criminal activity that they was involved in. So what happens is all the people going to do who's listening is connect the dots. You understand? Now, look, if y'all been paying attention, hey, man, little baby, he been low profile. He been really staying out the way, especially when it was said that them people was aiming at his camp next. So what he did, he started being aware, stopped hanging around a group of people like that. You want to be seen in a positive spotlight, making moves that can benefit you and your family from a righteous perspective. Because I'm trying to tell y'all, man, once them people start seeing you get involved in any type of street activity, They is coming at you and your family, and that's real talk. So y'all stay aware and always be prepared. That's the reason why, like I stated, man, young people, y'all got to be aware of what's really going on. You playing tough and trying to act extra street, it ain't benefiting you or nobody around you, and that's real. Hey, but we got more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.